What's up guys, it's Yuvalo here. Today I want to talk to you guys about gimbals and steadicams. What's the difference between the two and which one you should choose? So both gimbals and steadicams are tools designed to stabilize your footage. Gimbals have a motorized system, while the Steadicam has a manual counterweight system. So in the last couple of years, gimbals have seen a huge increase in popularity, and that's due to the prices going down and entering the consumer's market, with brands like DJI, Zion, Fairytech, and more. With new gimbals coming out almost every week now, there's not a lot of filmmakers and content creators out there that don't own a gimbal. With Steadicams, they've kind of always been there, but they don't get the same hype that gimbals do these days. Um, there's Glidecam, which is the most famous company for Steadicams. I have the Glidecam HD4000. There's also Devin Graham, um, Flycam, and some other Chinese knockoffs, but definitely gimbals are way more popular in the last few years. So now that we know what a gimbal and a Steadicam is, let's go over some of the key differences between the two. So first off, we're gonna talk about the look and the kind of style that you get from each of these. So the gimbal, because it's motorized, is very precise, very clean, while the Steadicam is more natural or more organic, if you will. Although it's worth mentioning that if you get really good with these tools, you can get pretty similar results. With the gimbal you can sometimes see some very obvious robotic movements and that can kind of throw you off sometimes and that usually happens more with amateur operators while the Steadicam is more flowing and less robotic. But again, it depends on the operator's skills which brings me to my next point which is the learning curve. So a gimbal is super easy to use right from the get-go. You can go to the store, pick one up, shoot tomorrow and you'll probably be fine. As with a Steadicam, it takes a long time to master it. At the beginning, you're going to find it hard to balance it. You're gonna get some swerving and some micro shakes. It's really not as easy as a gimbal. I've been using my Steadicam for about a year now, and I'll admit it, I'm pretty far from mastering it. And that just goes to show you that you need a lot of time to learn how to use it properly. So my next point is about the physical aspect of things. With the gimbal, you can use both of your hands but with the Steadicam you can only use one hand to support the weight while the other hand is only used for direction. So that means the Steadicam is going to be way heavier and you're probably gonna get tired very fast. So I personally use the Glidecam HD4000 with the 1DX Mark II and it's a very heavy combination. Honestly, I can only shoot for so many minutes until I get too tired and my hand kind of starts shaking and I get all those micro shakes and it's, it's really difficult. Whereas if I use a gimbal, I can use both of my hands to support the weight and I can definitely shoot for longer periods of time. So the next point is the fact that the gimbals run on batteries while the Steadicam doesn't need any power. That means you can take the Steadicam anywhere for as long as you want and you don't need any power, you don't need any cables, you can just use it for as long as you want without having to worry about all of this stuff. With the gimbal, you're always going to have to carry some extra batteries and just keep things in check and there's also a lot more that could go wrong with it. And my next and final point is flexibility. The gimbal wins big time on flexibility. You can basically get any shot that you could possibly imagine with the gimbal as with the Steadicam. Not so much. A good example of this is the super low angle shot. With the gimbal, it's super easy. You just flip it over and you're good. With the Steadicam, you kind of have to flip it over then rebalance it. It's pretty hard to, to actually balance correctly when it's upside down, so it's not gonna be perfectly balanced. And the gimbal is really way better at these type of shots. So to summarize, I think we can agree that there's no real answer as to what is better, a gimbal or a Steadicam. They are both tools designed to stabilize your footage, and just like a painter has all sorts of different brushes, it just depends on the kind of look you're going for, the kind of project you're working on, and 
your personal preference. A big thank you to Paytech for helping me make this video by providing me with their AK2000 gimbal. I think it's a great gimbal, especially if you're on a budget. If you want to purchase it, there's going to be a link down in the description below. So that was all for today guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please press the thumbs up button and also consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also consider checking out my Instagram page, it's at 96 I upload a lot of stories there showing you guys kind of what I'm doing, what I'm working on behind the scenes. Um, I'm also uploading a lot of photos and videos, so check it out, it's at 96 But that's all for today, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thank you.